Assalamu alaikum. I am Matthew Tuller, the U.S. Ambassador to Iraq. Many of my Iraqi friends have contacted me to ask about press reports that the U.S. Embassy is reducing staff in Baghdad. I have been able to assure them that I will continue to carry out my normal duties from the Embassy. I will do so with the support of a core team of American diplomats and U.S. advisors to the Iraqi military. All are committed to this important relationship. The temporary reduction of staff numbers will not affect the commitment of these dedicated personnel. More importantly, I want to let all our Iraqi friends know that our commitment to Iraq and the Iraqi people is as strong as ever, and that the important work we're doing here in Baghdad is continuing on the full breadth of our relationship, from security to economics and from human rights to COVID assistance. Just this week, for example, I engaged with the Iraqi ministers on the topic of internally displaced persons, a group for whom the United States has given over $345 million just in the past year to continue to assist their safe return to their homes. On COVID, we engaged with the Ministry of Health on the topic of Iraq receiving COVID vaccines. I spoke with the Minister of Finance on U.S. government financing of investment projects and food imports, and with the Minister of Trade on wheat and rice imports. And we are continually assisting U.S. companies doing business in Iraq and those looking to make investments in this market, working towards an Iraq that's secure, stable, and prosperous. In the coming month, I plan to participate from Baghdad in follow-up sessions of strategic dialogue working groups on energy and security. I will be in Baghdad for the foreseeable future, and all mission elements, including USAID and our Office of Security Cooperation, will continue to work to strengthen bilateral ties and oversee vital U.S. government programs in Iraq. While COVID has limited our ability to provide full consular services this past year, the Embassy Consular Section and the Consulate General in Erbil will continue to provide emergency services to American citizens in Iraq. As I said, the Embassy remains open and we remain committed to strengthening our partnership and deepening our ties with the Iraqi people. Shukran.